I'm taking a road trip up the East Coast, starting in Savannah, Georgia, all the way to Virginia Beach. The whole time, I'll be stealth camping in the back of my truck, spending no money at all on lodging. This is going to be the adventure of a lifetime, and you all are invited to come along with me. To make this challenge even more interesting and fun, I asked my friends and family to come up with challenges that I'm going to have to try to complete at each city along the way. So not only will I be trying to find great food, a place to stealth camp, but I'll also have to complete ridiculous challenges, and the first one is in Savannah, Georgia. So I made it to Savannah, and my first challenge, which I'm sure is on screen right now, is to find a pirate. And that's the only challenge that I asked for clarification on because, I mean, find a pirate. I was told I should be able to do it. It shouldn't be that hard. So I guess I'm just going to go look for a pirate. I mean, is Savannah known for pirates? I don't know. I'm going to find one. So I was talking to a random guy that I met in the parking lot and asked him where I could find a pirate. He was a cool guy. He had drums. He might know. And he told me maybe River Street would be a good place to look. So we're going to go to River Street. Um, I wish I'd gotten that interaction on camera. I'll do that next time. I made my way to River Street and it was such a cool area, right on the river, aptly named, and it had beautiful architecture, lots of history, cool artwork, including this statue, which has a really cool story behind it. And I actually thought for a second that I found a pirate. Oh my gosh, I think I found a pirate. That's a statue of a pirate, but still. There was a pirate. It was that easy, or so I thought. So definitely not a pirate, he's a doctor. But hey, we got a little bit close there. Not that close. After that, I just continued wandering around River Street looking for a pirate when I started to get hungry and honestly started to give up hope. I've been wandering around River Street for a while now. No sign of a pirate other than a statue that I very mistakenly thought was a pirate. I think I'm just gonna get some dinner and keep looking. I might have to go somewhere else. But then I got one of the luckiest breaks of the entire trip. So I was looking for dinner options on Yelp and apparently there's a place called the Pirate House that I almost walked right past. I must have just missed it. If that place doesn't have a pirate, I don't think I'm gonna find one. So that's where we're headed, that's where we're gonna have dinner. I'll see you there. All right, I found the Pirate House. If this doesn't have a pirate somewhere in it, I'm not gonna win this challenge. So I went into the Pirate's House and was immediately greeted by this awesome wooden statue of a pirate with a parrot and a peg leg. Challenge completed. What a journey, and also, this place is really cool and has amazing food. I got this giant fried seafood platter. When I tell you it was good, I am not lying. The shrimp were incredible, the fish was insane, and they had fried oysters, which were so, so delicious. The place is cool, and the food might even be better. Well, I found a pirate, and I looked up some information about that place, and it's like, very famous. Like one of the most famous places in Georgia. It has the oldest house in Georgia. If I'd done any research, that would have been a really easy challenge. Um, so I should probably do that in the future. But I found a pirate and I found this sweet shirt. Surrender the booty. I didn't pack a ton of clothes for this. So this is going to come in handy. Uh, but that does it for Savannah. I just have to find somewhere to sleep tonight. I'm sleeping in the back of the truck, of course. And I will see you in the morning for tomorrow's challenge. I ended up spending the night at a pilot truck stop. They're perfect for stealth camping because they're open 24 seven and they have bathrooms, but I'm dumb and forgot to take video. So I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. I'm in the back of the truck. Did not sleep well. It's way colder than I expected, but that's fine. I'm going to go get a shower. I'm going to go to Hilton Head Island. And I was just told that my challenge today is going to be to make a friend. Not my best skill, but let's do it. Throughout my life, I've really struggled with social anxiety to the point that it's always been pretty hard for me to make friends. But over the last year, I've really tried to face this problem head on through medical help and also by putting myself in positions that I have to face it, that I have to get better at it through practice. And that's the point of these challenges. I asked my friends and family to give me challenges that were going to make me push myself and making a friend is the perfect opportunity for that. I was able to find a Planet Fitness. I got a shower, got all cleaned up. I'm right outside of Hilton Head. I can't find anywhere that's gonna let me park overnight legally, but I think I found a place that I could probably get away with stealth camping. So my plan is to actually park there, Uber into Hilton Head, have a few drinks, find a friend, and then head back, Uber back, and I should be good tonight. It's gonna be a little bit sketchy, a little bit of a challenge, but 
I'll be fine. So I found this spot. It's at a hotel, Holiday Inn Express. Obviously that's open 24 hours. I think this spot back here is pretty secluded. I should be good here. I'm just outside of Hilton Head. We're gonna go with this. Hopefully I don't get caught. I hopped in an Uber and headed to the island with two goals in mind. Have some great food. And of course, I had to make a friend or lose the challenge. I made it to Hilton Head. I just Ubered in from my truck. The plan is to go to some of these bars. I'm going to a tiki bar next, have a few drinks, a little bit of social lubrication, then we make a friend. Let's do it. Before I hit the bars, I took a few moments to just appreciate how beautiful this place was. I mean, look at this beach. It is so cool that I get to be here, but then it was time to go to a bar and I started off at a place called Pool Bar Gyms. A little bit difficult to find, but right on the water and it is so cool. I got a painkiller, which is what this drink is, and it's pretty strong, but very delicious. But as much fun as I had here, I did not need a friend. But I had absolutely no intention of giving up. So I headed to another bar. This time it was called Flatbread. This bar was really cool. And I ended up getting a hurricane, which they said was their specialty. This thing was so delicious. I loved it. I actually had two. And I actually talked to people. And wouldn't you know what happened next? This is my new friend, Sue. And this is my new friend, Jordan. I did it. <laughs> we did it. This was a great challenge for me because it made me put myself out there, meet new people. And it resulted in me having a great time. And challenge complete. After saying goodbye to my new friend Sue, I headed to a bar that the bartender recommended. It was called Henchy's. I got this steak sandwich and these fries, which were both incredible. Great thing to end the night on. And then I headed back to my truck to Stealth Camp in the Holiday Inn Express parking lot. I made it back to the truck. I had a great time on Hilton Head Island. I made a friend, Sue. Shout out to Sue if you're watching this video. I had so much fun and, uh, you know, that's two for two on the challenges. That's good. We're going to go up the coast a little bit more tomorrow. I'm going to get some sleep, and I'll see you in the morning. So it's 7.50 in the morning. I just woke up. I ended up sleeping in the cab of the truck right here because I thought it was going to really rain hard. But it didn't rain that hard, so I could have slept in the back of the truck. Either way, though, I am going to go to Planet Fitness, get a shower, and then I'm headed to Charleston, which I've never been to Charleston before. So that's going to be fun. I still don't know what my challenge is. The person assigned to today hasn't woken up yet, I guess. But I'll have that soon. And I'll let you know what it is once I find out. So I found a Planet Fitness, got a shower, felt a lot better, and hit the road headed to Charleston. Never been there before. Had no idea what my challenge was. But I was super excited to find out. I made it to Charleston, and I have my next challenge. Admittedly, though, it's kind of an easy one. I have to try something new. And if you are new to my channel or not, you know my name is Jordan Tries. So this is not going to be hard. I'll try some new food. Or if I see something interesting, I'll try it. This was a pretty weak sauce challenge from my brother, but it makes for an easy day. I drove into Charleston, found a place to park, did a little bit of research, and found the perfect thing to do that I had never done before to complete this challenge. Okay, I figured it out. The thing that I'm going to try that's new... I'm going to take a ferry to Fort Sumter. How cool is that going to be? I'm so excited. I hope this audio is good. It's very windy. The ferry ride out to Fort Sumter cost about $30 for a two hour round trip. And for those of you that don't know too much about Fort Sumter, it's the location of the first shots fired of the Civil War. So this is a very important location and they've kept it in the same condition as it was back then. It's just this little island with a small fort on it out in the harbor. And it is so cool because you can still find cannonballs from the Civil War lodged in the wall. How cool is that? They also have cannons actually used in the battles of the Civil War. Awesome. For a history nerd like me, this is like the best thing ever. I am so glad I tried this. Highly recommend. Wish I could have stayed longer. But as it was time to go back, I had a couple things on my mind. I need to find great food and a place to sleep. That was awesome. I am so glad I did that. And it's a new thing that I've done. So I tried something new, complete. That was honestly like a super easy challenge. Hopefully I have a better one tomorrow. But now I need to find something to eat and find somewhere to sleep. Let's do it. I made my way into Charleston to go to a place that I found on a bunch of best of lists, Magnolias. I was there to get the Low Country Bouillabaisse. This is their specialty. It had all sorts of great seafood and this savory broth. Oh my goodness, this is one of the best things I've ever had in my entire life. After dinner, I drove to the closest pilot truck stop, 
because like I said, it's the perfect place to stealth camp. I found the perfect parking spot and got settled in for the night. Man, what a day. What a good day. I thought that challenge, try something new, would be too easy and would be lame for content. But Fort Sumter was awesome. I also tried a new food. I tried bouillabaisse, I think is how you say it. That was great. And I think I found a good spot, which I'll show you now. All right, so here's where we're staying tonight. We're at a pilot that has an Arby's. There's lots of truckers around. No one's going to notice me. I'll stay in the cab of the truck until it's time for bed. And then I'm just going to jump in here. And then I'll close the latch. And I'll sleep right here. Nobody will know I'm here. Good morning. I just woke up in the back of the truck and I already know my challenge. I'm going to Myrtle Beach today and my challenge from my good friend Jacob is to get a hole in one. So obviously that means I'm playing Papa today. How exciting. For me, Myrtle Beach is the place that I associated with the beach and vacation when I was growing up. It's the first place I ever went on vacation, and I still remember getting buried in the sand, building sandcastles with my parents, and riding the waves on a boogie board for the first time. It's a core memory for me, so when I planned this trip, I knew I had to go to Myrtle, or else this trip just wouldn't be quite right. But now, it's time to golf. I'm at Captain Hook's Adventure Golf. I'm going to play 18 holes, only 18. I'm going to try to get a hole in one. If I don't get a hole in one, I lose. If I do, I win. This was probably the nicest putt-putt course I'd ever played on. Not that I've played on a lot, to be honest. And it was really difficult. Also, fun fact, I'm horrible at golf. I never play real golf, so this was going to be a real challenge. But with 18 shots at it, I thought I had a pretty good chance of getting lucky. And I did get close a few times early. Like this shot right here, I thought was going to go in early. But then I got kind of a bad bounce off the wall. You know, I'm just kind of bad. But eventually I had what was the best shot of the day. No way! That was so close! It came down to the last hole of the course, hole 18. I still hadn't hit a hole in one. This was my last chance, or I would fail my first challenge of the trip. My undefeated streak would be over, and I missed. I'm a loser. It's official. No hole in one. I'm sorry, Jacob. I failed. I might have failed the challenge, but I had so much fun. I just suck at putt-putt. It is what it is. I might suck at putt-putt, but I know how to find food. And I'm in the mood for some like shrimp tacos or something. So that's what we're going to go do. I'm going to go find something to eat. I decided to go to a place called Bum's Beach Cafe, which is a little beach bar right on the ocean. I mean, look at this view. It was beautiful. I had a ton of fun just sitting here and the food was awesome as well. I got Bam Bam shrimp tacos. That Bam Bam sauce is unbelievable. I could drink it. I loved it so much. Really enjoyed these tacos. And after I was done, I knew I needed to find somewhere to sleep for the night. Here's the setup for tonight. We're at another truck stop all the way in the back of the lot. This is gonna be perfect. I had a great day today. I failed my challenge, but I'm gonna get some sleep. I am so tired and I have a lot of driving to do tomorrow. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. I made it to my next location, which is Virginia Beach. I just got a shower at one of the jankiest Planet Fitnesses I've ever been at in my life, but I got my next challenge and it's honestly a pretty cool one. It's to try raw oysters, which on its surface is a very easy challenge, but I got it from my dad because there's a big backstory that I'm going to tell you with a voiceover over some B-roll footage as I travel there. As I mentioned earlier, my first ever vacation was to Myrtle Beach when I was like four or five years old. And while I was there, my dad convinced me to try oysters on the half shell. I had never tried them before, but he always encouraged me to try new things, especially with food, before deciding you didn't like them or judging them at all. So I gave it a shot and I absolutely could not get them down. And it's been a running joke ever since. So when I asked him for a challenge, I had a feeling it might be relating to that. And here we are. I ended up going to a place called Chick's Oyster Bar because, well, I had to eat oysters. So that sounded like a good place to start. And spoiler alert, this place is awesome. Right on the water, fresh seafood, and awesome cocktails. This is an orange crush. Oh my goodness, one of the best mixed drinks I've ever had. And then I ordered an oyster shooter, which I've never had before. I don't know if this is cheating, but it is a raw oyster, and I did eat it. And honestly, it was pretty good. I actually liked it. I would do it again. And challenge complete, raw oyster done, and it really wasn't bad. 
after completing the challenge, I got their number one bestseller, the fried flounder, which was so delicious. And then I walked over to a bar that was just like a couple hundred yards away, also right on the water, had a couple drinks, and then I went back to the truck to go to bed. Good morning. I think this is gonna be the last night I spend in the truck. I think I'm gonna go home today. So I woke up this morning fully intending to go to DC, do the whole thing again, complete a challenge or at least try to. And I wanted to stay in Shenandoah National Park, but I didn't do any research beforehand and they are closed for the season. And beyond that, I've been gone for over a week now. I decided I'm just gonna go home. I'm gonna go see my puppies. I'm gonna spend a night in my bed. This has been an awesome trip and I have like eight hours of driving to do still, but I can't wait to see my dogs and be home. So I drove all day from Virginia Beach back to Columbus, Ohio, where I live. And the entire trip, I just thought about what an amazing last week I'd had. I saw so many cool places, met new people, ate some great food, and hey, I went four or five on challenges. That's pretty good, 80%. But the whole time, really, all I wanted to do was get home and see my dogs. And that's what I did. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.